Devil 18 Games. Hello and welcome. My name is Red Devil 18, and today I've got a Warhammer Fantasy Battle Report for you. It'll be 55,000 points, with Empire and Batonia teaming up against the Orcs and Goblins, Warriors of Chaos, Skaven, Ogres, Vampires, and Tomb Kings. So we just call them Human v Evil. And Human Deployment. We have 10 pistoli not pistoliers, 10 gunners, big block of infantry, some archers, and a griffin behind the building, a Batonian lance, some more empire pistols, and some rakes guard with a hellblaster body gun, and two more Batonian lances. And yeah, just so you can see what's behind the building. There is a Empire Lord on Griffin, some archers and a cannon. Over here we have a block of men at arms, a Hellblaster volley gun, some demi griffs with the Fae Enchantress in. I believe she's a special character for Batonia. We have six Grail Knights, a mortar, and another Batonian lance. Along with a block of great swords, another cannon, five pistoliers, five crossbows, and another lance. Right here we have yet another Bretonian lance, steam tank, ten crossbows, a lord on Pegasus, five. I think the Bretonian knights. Can't remember what. Four Pegasus knights, a block of archers, and a. Tri we got a few more Bretonian Knights, more Knights behind them. Unit 5 uh, Yeoman, another Bretonian Lance. A unit of Empire Swordsmen, Militia, I forgot what they're called. A unit of Peasant Bowmen, a Cannon and an Engineer on Mechanical Hordes. Yet another Lance Block, 6 Grail Knights and another Mortar. Five more pistoliers, human block, don't know what they are, uh, ten more crossbows, another peg lord, I think there's another peg lord in behind, but I think that one's a mage, five more yeomen, big block of spears, and two more trebuchets, that one in the middle that looks like a cannon, that's a trebuchet. Over here. More peasant bowmen, another hellblaster volley gun, a war altar, cannon, I believe the uh, skirmishing archers are huntsmen, ten more hand gunners, big block of spears, another hellblaster volley gun, and another Bretonian lance. More pistoliers, four more demigriffs, more peasant bowmen and another unit of rakes guard with a mortar and more archers just in the back. Yeah, big unit of empire cavalry. Another steam tank. Five more yeomen, Petonian lance. A unit of peg knights and another trebuchet. On evil, we have an arachnorock. Big unit of squigs. A goblin spear chucker, mangler squid, big block of goblin spears, five wolves, a goblin on spider, doom diver, a block of savage orc biggins, more wolves, a giant, another spear chucker, a few trolls, another mangler, more orc. No, Goblin War, Goblin Wolf Riders. Big unit of Night Goblin Archers. A Demon Prince of Nurgle. Another unit of Savage Orc Biggins. And a Orc War Boss on Will. Uh, some Goblin Squig Riders. Another Mangler. Unit of Eight Trolls. Six Usabi. A Vampire Lord on Undead Dragon. Five Spectral Stalkers. 
I don't know what those Tomb King or the Chaos Undead Legion models are with the wings, but they do look quite cool. Uh, five hex rays and a few spear blocks. Oh, and a casket of souls. A tomb guard unit. Five goblin chariots. Another spear chucker. We have one of the new vermin lords. Block of clan rats. Some chaos knights. Chaos warhounds. A chaos giant. Some more goblin chariots. A doom wheel and a Uh, to the left of Clan Rats, we've got Big Lock of Chaos Warriors, Big Lock of Storm Vermin, a Doom Wheel, a Plague Wind Mortar, a Hell Cannon, a Warp Lightning Cannon, and another Skaven Clan Rat unit, a Warp Fire Thrower, a Big Lock of Plague Monks, so the ones in red, some Clan Rats sitting behind those, another Plague Mortar. Big block of clan rats pushing the screaming bell. Some more chaos warriors. Big block of clan rats. Another hell cannon. And another war. A another biggish block of chaos warriors. And behind them are more chaos warriors. We got a big block of marauders. We got a block of iron guts. Five warhounds. Big block of clan rats. A social lord on disc of inch, a rattling gun, a giant a saber tusk, and another warp fire, a uh, warp lightning cannon behind the balls. Big block of clan rats, warp fire thrower, an iron blaster. Unit six chaos ogres, unit ten chaos warriors of inch. Uh, another block of clan rats, and behind those is a giant and a chaos lord on demonic mount. You know, five gazelles. Another rattling gun in front of a unit of chaos warriors. That one on the hill with one unit just wouldn't stand up there. A shagoth. A unit of five gazelles. Warp fire thrower. Another vermin lord. Another block of clan rats. Uh, six man eaters with brace of ogre. Unit of seven Chaos Knights, unit of four Mournfang, a BSB on Normal Steed, a Chaos Lord on Disco Zinch, five more Warhounds, another big block of Chaos Warriors, Sabre Tusk, Warhounds, Sabre Tusk, big block of Rat Ogres, and the Hell Pit Abomination. That's it for deployment, and onto Vanguards. Two unit of warhounds move up. Another unit of warhounds move up a bit. Uh, the hex race and the goblin wolf riders move up. And over here you can see one unit of the yeoman and another unit of wolf riders move up. So, evil turn one. So everything moves up a bit, not too much stuff. Evil one combat. Yeah, but, uh, we do have a first turn charge there. The Wolf Riders charge the Huntsman. Uh, magic sees Seer and Doom kill off three Bretonian Knights. A Comet is placed, ready to come down. Um, Two buff spells onto the big scaven block of. I forgot their name now. Storm Vermin, that's it. <laughs> and. Roommate. Watch out with that photo, so. Ah, there we go. It was showing off the pikemen, and Foot of Gork stomped them all to death. Skaven shoot in, sees some guy. And a Hellblaster died. I believe that was to the Ogre Ryan Blaster. So, human turn one. And the Skaven player activates the Storm Banner. So, charges. 
two Bretonian lances, charged units of warhounds, and a another unit charges a saber task. It's big lance charge the man eaters. Sand and shoot sees no wounds. Not looking good for the man eaters there. The peg knights charge into the clan rats, and the lance charges another unit of dogs. These grail knights charge the doom wheel, while the other lance charges the other doom wheel. Uh, that lance charges a unit of five goblin wolf riders, and another lance charges a unit of skeletal horses. Yeah, skeletal horses. And the demigrist charge a unit of goblin wolf riders as well. A uh, unit of rakes guard charge into the squig riders. And get a flank. Uh, this unit of knights charge the wolf riders. And the green knight just ran around stomping all the fanatics, all the mangler squigs, while taking nothing in return. So the goblin player was a bit uh, mad at this. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's everything the green knight killed in its first round of movement. Goblin player fuming. And oh yeah, the rakes guard did try to charge a uh, sp spider rider and redirected after he fled. So again, showing off the charges. My poor man eaters. Uh, peg knight. Doom wheels getting charged. And charged. And yeah. Spider Rider fleeing like a coward. And another charge there. In Human Magic, this guy miscast and lost all his wizard levels. And all he was doing is curse the Midnight Wind on a unit that's not even in the combat. And the miscast did take out a few knights that are in combat with the skeletal horses. Again, just an overview shot, so in showing the minor wounds. Called. Yeah, this is a massive game. We've still got another six at table off screen here. Now, I think I'm missing one of my deployment photos because there's Carl Franz there. I don't remember introducing him. Oh, and Carl Franz ascended as well, by the way. Again. Overview shot showing thousands of models. <laughs> so the Grail Knights kill off Doom Wheel and overrun into the Clan Rats with Gracia. Uh, the other Doom Wheel also died. Overrun, but didn't get that far. The Squig Riders didn't take any wounds, but did break from combat. And the Rakes Guard Knights reform. And obviously both chaff units died. And both units overran. Here the Peg Knights killed their combat and overran it into the clan rats. Again, the Warhounds died, Brett Knights overrun. Uh, my poor man eaters got wiped out. So that, that lance charges into a unit of clan rats. Warhounds died, nothing more than. nothing we didn't expect even. More dead Warhounds. So, evil turn two, and the storm banner does end, meaning we get a shooting. So, the Chaos Knights charge into the flank of the Yeoman, and obviously the Saber Test broke from combat and ran away. Yeah, the Mournfang and the Chaos Lord charge into the flank of this lance. The Shagoth charges the Peasant Men at Arms, and the Chaos Knights charge the Lance. Uh, the Marauders come over to help their, the Clan Rat buddies against the Peg Knights. Ogre Bulls charge the flank of this Lance. Chaos Warriors charge the Yeoman. 
at the Plague Bears charge the flank of this Plutonian lance. And that one's got Fae and Chantress in and a few lords. Again, Chaos Warriors are coming to help the Clan Rat Buddies. And the last unit of dogs on the table, I believe, charged the crossbows. And the skeletal, uh, the snake riders charge this lance, and the demon prince charges in the flank. The vampire lord on dragon charges into the race guard. The big block of squigs charge into that lance. So remaining moves needs to help it move up. Again, more moving up. Iron Blaster getting ready to shoot something. Don't think the Vermin Lord got in range of its shooting attack, because it is the shooting variant, whatever that one's called, using the new Frank Hall rules. And everything moves up. More moving up. <laughs> and here the uh, Arachna, Arachna Rock, got ready to charge the Peg Lord. And yeah, that's the end of movement. So magic showing the two buffs on the Skaven. This was at the end of day one, and my camera had actually died, so I had to resort to the next few photos being from my phone. Sorry about that. But yeah. Alright, we did some wounds onto the gunman in the top left. Did manage to kill off a mortar, which is always good. Scaven the light mortar has been on the 20 mil bases. Uh, we also managed to get Curse of Years onto this lance. Um, I believe that's one of the special ones, the rare lances. God knows, I'm useless as Betonia. But yeah, shooting. The warp, fi uh, warp Lightning Cannon misfired. Luckily, it only meant it couldn't shoot this turn. And the Doom Wheel died. Can't remember if it did something or if something scattered and killed it. The last Doom Wheel did die. Um, the Iron Blaster did misfire. Again, luckily it was just a 5, so it just meant it faced the random direction and just happened to be facing the exact same way it was before it misfired. So it just doesn't get to shoot this turn. Here we see, I believe it was Scorch, took off quite a few units there. Was it Scorch? No, it's shooting. Ah, uh, there we go, yeah. It wasn't the big beefy Hell Cannon. The Plague Mortar managed to kill all those. And here, we kill off the unit that was protecting that engineer. And do a wound onto one of the light wizards in that unit. And we do also get, get free wounds onto the steam tank. But three wounds on the steam tank and one wound on the light wizard was all the shooting that this cannon, this doom dive, and this warp fighting cannon did. We hit, we wound, we roll a one for d6. Oh god. And the green knight is back. And no, he's not. He just got vomited to death. Which is good because otherwise he would have took. Uh, target those trolls for quite a while. And this combat, one knight dies, and he absolutely fluffs his rolls and does nothing in return. But he does stick around. Yeah, you know, one warhound dies, no wounds back, but again this. Uh, the squigs did massive damage to this unit. I say massive; it was only four, but it's a lot more than we thought they did. 
and they actually break from that, leaving the Squigs to overrun into the Peg Knights. And the unit of Pegs in combat with the Marauders and Clan Rats did also die. The Yeoman broke, just managed to outrun the Chaos Warriors. And the Snake Riders and the Demon Prince managed to get quite a few wounds off, taking none in return. Uh, the Plague Monks again killed five knights and took no wounds back thanks to the Brett player fluffing his roll. And this unit sees that lance nearly decimated. Just the Fey Enchantress, BSB, and three knights remaining. But they did stick around. And here you see that Chaos Knight unit did lose two guys, one guy sorry, in the combat with the other lance, broke, ran straight through. Which meant this lance could pursue straight into the Mornfang's flank, which is not good. Here we see the Vampire Lord did wreck those Rake's guard, but there is a Peg Lord now in his flank providing support. So, human turn two. Then we go charge into the Arachnorok. That Peg Lord charges into the Squigs. The Steam Tank is not in combat, it's just very close to it. Yeah, the Peg Lord's helping out the Rakes Guard and the Blue Rakes Guard charge into the Savage York Biggins. Another Bright unit's come over to try and kill these Snake Riders. Uh, human militia into the back of the plague monks, and a never peg lord into the flank of the chaos warriors. That lance is charged into another unit of chaos warriors. This is a different unit of chaos warriors. It got charged by four grail knights, and both the great swords. And the Brett Lance to charge this unit of 10 Zinch Chaos Warriors. Don't think they're going to last long. Here, unit of Chaos Warriors with a level 4 Metal Mage in it has got charged by both Rake's Guard and the Batonian Lance. And I think at this point we realised that the human players have been cheesy and put in War Priests into the Grail Knight units, making them. or giving them hatred, sorry. So. The humans cheesed it. We didn't do any of those shenanigans. And here the Griffin Lord is charged into the Hellpit Abomination. And a unit four Grails and Carl Franz ascended into those Chaos Warriors. Never seen Carl Franz ascended before this game, so let's see how tough he is. Again, it was just unbelievable bad luck for the human side. They literally did no damage during the magic and shooting phase. So, just to how the game is progressing so far. And on to the combat. The Griffin Lord managed to, managed to put four wounds onto the Hell Pip Abomination, and it did three in return. And. The squigs died. Uh, the squigs killed off the peg unit, and peg lord fled from it, which allowed them to overrun into the Brett unit that they were in combat with in turn one. And a bit of bad luck shows the vampire lord dying. This is the vampire's only mage, so that was his magic gone as well. But the dragon does stick around, and the green knight is back. Again, not seen the green knight before this game. And never realised just how hard to kill this guy was. Because he just kept coming back and back all game. Here we see one of the war priests die out of the uh, Bretonian knight unit. And some more knights died. Two wounds onto the snake riders. The demon prince is in combat. Again, it just the hill made it a bit awkward. And... They just 
the humans fluff their roles here. The Chaos Warriors stick around, manage to kill off all of the Grail Knights and just leave the character. Didn't manage to do any wounds to Carl Franz though. And here, it's like humans just had bad luck this game, I think. Because only three Chaos Warriors died. Yet one Rates Guard did, and so did one Bretonian Knight. Just showing the Ogre. And yeah, the Ogre Balls charged in. They didn't do any wounds, but the Clan Rats managed to kill one Knight. So Bretonian won the combat. The Skaven stuck around, but the Ogre Balls fled. And in the Blue Rates Guard, this is Savage Orc Biggins. Five Knights die, and quite a lot of Savage Orcs died. Again, their ward saves just failed them all. It was mad. So, yeah. Only two left after they charged. So, mm, mess up the ward saves, but at least they're winning the combat. Uh, the Bretonian Knights killed off the Clan Knight unit and overran into the Screaming Dow. Here, we lost two Mournfang and quite a few Clan Rats, and we lost combat. The Clan Rats were steadfast on Leadership 8, I think, with a reroll and fail, ran away. The Mornfang need to double one and they get it. So good going Mornfang, but I still think you're gonna die. Uh, and the general also failed and ran away on the ship nine. With a reroll. Yeah, exactly what I just said. Don't know why I've got so many photos of this. The Arachnorok takes four wounds from the Demigris and only manages to deal one back. And here we see the Shagoth lost combat with the the men at arms and fled. Luckily he did manage to outrun them. So he's still alive. Here we see one of the knights died and again they fluffed the rolls. I don't think they did any wounds to the clan right unit. Which is good because we need them to stick around to keep the grace here. Yeah, knights and general rally. Chaos ogres don't rally from a panic test, and they leave the board. They've done nothing. They showed up, showed off their quite nice conversions, and fucked off. <laughs> Here we see the bulls rally with the standard removed because obviously they broke from combat. Again, just showing the left flank and not looking too good for the evil side. So, it charges the Chaos Lord on Demonic Mount and you know, a Chaos Warriors charge into the Men at Arms. And my giant charges the flank of the Demigris. Shagoff doesn't rally and carries on running and panics the Dezales who decide they're going to run away as well. Uh, that Chaos Ogre charges the flank of the Knights to try and provide the Clan Rats some support. Uh, the Squigs charge into that Knight unit and the Trolls come in to try and help the Savage Orc Biggins. The big block of Trolls no, not the Trolls, sorry, it was actually the goblin on giant spider charges the green knight because the the goblin has the awe strike first sword which means magical attacks which means we can get hopefully get rid of that green knight again over here the rat ogres just move up a bit bsb moves just to make sure he's out of everyone's charge range or arc the Marauders charge the Peg Lord. 
Tranquil moves up a bit, as do the Iron Guts. Again, just move forward, get in positions. And Magic sees yet another Comic Marker. And we manage the Irresistible Force, the end times metal spell on this Chaos Warrior unit. Meteoric Ironclad, giving it a 2 up ward save, is so strong. Uh, some magical shooting manages to do some wounds on the Great Sword. That's right, it was the Warp Fire Thrower. And uh, combat sees both the Griffin and the Hellpit Abomination go down to one wound each. But the Hellpit ran away and ran off the board, leaving the Griffin victorious, unfortunately. The Knights fled from the Squig unit, and they ran off the table, so they're not actually there at the moment. And the Marauders against the Peglord. Peglord manages to do one wound. The Goblin Chariots have run in to help the spider uh, Snake Riders. No, that's right, they overran. But the Chaos Warrior and last Brett Knight dies. The Chaos Warrior unit, sorry, and the last Knight dies. Still leaving Carl Franz at full health. You see one unit of Knights die to the Goblin Chariot. The every, all, all that's left in that unit now is Lords. So how those Spider Riders are still there is beyond. Anyway, so in that combat, the Knights wiped out their unit of Archers, which panicked the War Altar, and it ran through the Pikemen. Then panicked and fled the board. Not bad for just killing a few Archers. And there we go, just showing the archers gone and the pig block gone. Here we've seen the Demigriffs do three wounds to my giant, and all the giant did then was yell and brawl and they stuck about. The Goblin and Spider took two wounds and did none in return. Sorry, it didn't do none in return, it did all of them in return. Killed the Green Knight in one round. Go on, Spider Rider. The Arachnorok manages to kill off a Demi, and don't think it took any wounds this combat, but the Giant did take three. And the Grey Seer gets, gets killed off the top of the... Um, Screaming Bell, that's the one. Yeah, the Grey Seer got killed from the top of Screaming Bell. Uh, that giant and kind of acts managed to kill off a Night Block, which is good. And here, the Chaos Warriors took no wounds. Annoyingly, none of the attacks got past the armor, so we didn't even use that to award safe. But yeah, three Brett Knights die and one Rates got. Seeing the Brett Knights flee. And the Rick's Guard fled as well, and God knows why, but I decided to, ch to pursue the Rake's Guard and not the Brett Knight with Wizard in it. Don't know what I was thinking there. And the Vampire's Dragon dies. No more Dragon. Just showing the overruns. So this is the overall shots at the end of Evil Turn 2. Uh, the Chaos Warriors managed to kill off the Knight Unit, sorry, Peasant Unit. So not to overrun with the Warriors, but we do with the Chaos Lord. Yeah, the Mournfang 
tay Overall shot at the end of combat. Yeah, so the Peg Light Knight charges the flank of the Pink Chaos Warriors. The human unit charges the Plague Sensor Bear, not Sensor Bears, Plague Monks. Knight Bus charges the Warp Fire Thrower. And Swordsman charge the Clan Rats. Carl Franz and a unit of Ground Knights charge into the Iron Guts. And the Griffin charges the flank of the Rat Ogres. See the Ground Knights charge the front of the Goblin charge. The unit of knights and the unit of characters charge in for the Chaos Knights. So yeah, on to human magic. And the ogre player uses the Hell Heart. Rolls a 5. And still only manages to get the one wizard in. It does cause large template miscast. And kill off a few knight units there. And also took away some power dice. Yeah, killed seven knights in that miscast. So, decent use of the hell heart. So, humans cast Throne of Vines. With irresistible force and then obviously ignored it. And then managed to get flesh to stone off as well. And that's on the unit in combat with the Screaming Bell. So that ain't too good for them. Here we see the cannon. Kill off Frank Wall. He's done next to nothing all game. Bit disappointed I didn't get to see what he actually does. Combat we see the, chaos, uh, the Ogre Giant get killed by the Demis. Which is a bit disappointed because I've had that model for about four years. This is the first time I brought it out. All it did was yell at some chickens and get his eyes pecked out. So now I'm understanding a bit why you don't see giants. And here I get to see Carl Franz and the power he has. 17 wounds and that was with bad rolling. I did manage to get five wounds back on Carl though. Demogriffs get killed by the Arachnorok and Giant combo, and the Peg Lord pegs it. And here we see this unit is finally down to one guy, because that's tied up the Snake Riders all game, and Chariot lose a few guys. And the Warp Fire Float Thrower dies, the, it gets to. Uh, the Night Lance gets to overrun and attack again this turn. Here we see the Savage Orc Biggins and Trolls are in, in their combat. Trolls do have Gork will fix it though. Uh, yeah, quite a few wounds under the Savage Orcs. Two dead Trolls. Next to nothing back. The Marauders don't take any wounds back. Get two onto the Peg Lord who runs away. And the Griffin is finally dead. The Rat Ogre's managed to finish off what the Hellbit started. A few, a few wounds on the Volcan Rats. Surprisingly, they managed to get a few wounds back. And very surprisingly, the Lance lost loads and runs away from the Screaming Bell. So showing at the end of human combat. OK, 
hits, uh, charges. The Chaos Warriors charge into the Grail Knights. The BSB comes over to help the Chaos Warriors with the Rakes Guard. Screaming Bell charges the Knights who flee. This giant charges into the Trev. And these Chaos Warriors charge into the cannon. And here we see the Aragnarok declared a charge on the Peg Lord, who fled. So they redirect into the archers, fled, and they both went off the board. A wolf chariot charges into the knight unit. Uh, Skaven Assassin comes over to attack the other Trev. And the Ashavi come into the Pistoliers. So, Romanian moves. Then Lord moves up a bit. Now, he's finally in range to do a shooting attack. And the Marauders move up. The Chaos Warriors move up. And this giant charges into the steam tank, and the clan rats charge the crossbowmen. In combat, yeah. Tro did get troll guts off in a magic phase, which helped a lot. But we do manage to do two wounds back. It took a few. But luckily we got the stubborn banner on the slaughtermaster in the back rank, so we stuck around. Surprisingly, first bad misfire of the game, and a poison wind mortar kills itself. And the Vermilo manages to kill off a pistol or two with its shooting attack. The ogre balls charge in to the side of Carl Franz with ogre charge. Try and give some support. The Chaos Giant takes two wounds and deals one, I believe. Maybe four. Clan Knight unit lost quite a few guys, but does stick around. Managed to kill off some more Rakes Guard. Again, the Savage Oak big ones are just getting decimated. So they, I don't think they passed a single ward save all game. So some bad roll in there. And these Chaos Warriors kill off the Grail Knights and reform to face the Demis. So we see the Demogriffs charge into the Chaos Warriors, so that was obviously going to happen. The Great Swords charge into the flank of the Clan Rats. Magic sees Transformation of Kodan, and out comes this stunning model. Not 100% sure what it is, all I know is it's beautiful and I want one. Shooting sees the rockets kill off one of the vermin lords. And over here we see the Marauder Champion did a challenge, killed off a peg, and become a demon prince. Gobble Chariot died, but those snake riders are still in combat. They've been tarpated up all game. I say tarpated, they've managed to kill off quite I think it's freelancers, one of them just full of characters. And yeah, obviously the clan rats died. Yeah, five wounds under the Chaos Warriors. Next and then back, if any. Here we see one Chaos Warrior die, and I think it's two Rakes Guard. And this is where I'd like to say that we did it, boys. We killed Carl Franz, ascended.
But no. Garfrans kills off the Slaughtermaster and the Chaos Champion. And that's the end of turn four. And the game, just because we'd spent about 16 hours, only completed turn four turns. Um, unfortunately, I think some of us had work the next day. I had to go into surgery, so we couldn't afford to spend another day on it, unfortunately. So let me know what you all think. Who do you think won? Please leave a comment in below. And again, thank you to all the Border Princes who showed up. I will leave a link to their forums in the description. So if any Wargamers are in the Cardiff area and looking for a fantasy group, so we're always looking for new recruits. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time.